Okay, we are doing number three on taking distance further. This title was no joke. Number three is taking distance so much further than probably you wanted to go. So let's talk about how to solve number three. Look at this, it's kind of like Jeopardy. They give you the length. The answer is five. So you know the length. The length of the segment is five. So we know that when we solve with the distance formula, the answer is going to come out to be five. The problem is we're missing one of the coordinates. We're missing the x value of one of the coordinates. So what we want to do first, five equals, we want to draw our distance formula, a squared plus b squared delta y delta x. Okay, so now we want to make sure we organize our coordinates. I tell my students, circle your x's and underline your y's. And then you put your circles together and you put your underlines together in those parentheses, making sure you're going in the same order both times. So I'm going to do x and negative 1. So I use this, I use this. Then I'm going to go in the same order and do 0, 4. Okay. Now is when your algebra skills come into play. You're going to reduce and simplify as much as possible. So there's nothing to reduce or simplify over here. 5 equals. We've still got our square root. Let's clean this up inside here. x minus negative 1. All right, well, that's x plus 1. 0 minus 4. Well, that's negative 4. Okay, let's keep going. Let's clean it up even more. I can't do anything with this part. But I do know that negative 4 with parentheses around it squared is 16. I've now cleaned up inside that radical as much as I possibly can. Now let's try to get rid of the square root. What is the opposite of square rooting something? Squaring it. So whatever you do to one side, you must also do to the other. So if we're going to square this, we better square this. So now what do we have? 5 squared. We have 25 equals. And we have whatever was left under the square root sign. Because the squared and the square root canceled out. They're gone. Okay. We're trying to solve for x. To solve for x, you do the opposite of what's being done to it. Right now, I see a plus 16. I'm going to do the opposite of that, minus 16. So we get what? 9 equals. Okay, we're getting close. Now I need to undo what's being done to x. It says x plus 1 squared. So now I need to undo squaring something. Here we go again. To undo squaring something, you square root. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. The square and the square root cancel. And this just becomes x plus 1. Now we have to be careful over here. What's the square root of 9? Don't say 3. It's not just 3. The square root of 9 is plus or minus 3. The square root of 9 is plus or minus 3. The square root of 16 is plus or minus 4. The square root of 25 is plus or minus 5. Okay, we're almost there, guys. Now we need to split this up into 2 because there's two solutions. So we've got 3 equals x plus 1. And we've got negative 3 equals x plus 1. How do you solve for x? Subtract 1 from both sides. So for this one right here, x equals 2. And for this one right here, minus 1, minus 1, x equals negative 4. So there are two solutions to this problem. This problem has two answers, two correct answers. Oh, did I not put the negative? I don't know where my negative went. 2, negative 4. 2 and negative 4. It's not a coordinate. It's two separate answers. Alrighty, let's go to the back of our paper and look at number 6. We need to find the location of point P that's located two-thirds of the distance from B to A. 
So what I taught my students was, when you're trying to find a fractional distance on a number line, first find the rise and the run. Find delta y and delta x. You can draw your, your rise and your run down and over or up and over, it doesn't matter. Make a right triangle, in other words. Okay, to find my rise and run, I can just count the squares or I can use the actual coordinates. Let's do a rise first. I want to rise from negative 5 to 7. Okay, the distance from negative 5 to 7 is 12. Okay, now I'm going to do the run. I want to run from negative 8 to 4. The distance from negative 8 to 4, oh, it's also 12. So that's step one, find the distance. Find the distance between the x's and the distance between the y's. Now we're going to use our fraction. We don't want to go up 12, left 12. We want to go two-thirds of the distance. So I'm going to take my rise and my run and multiply it by the fraction they gave me, 12 times two-thirds. This is easy. We don't have to compute two different things because it's the same both times. So this is now saying I have a new rise and a new run. Rise 8, run 8. Now we have to really read carefully. This is where we could go wrong. The distance from B to A, so that's a big deal. Don't start at A and rise 8 and go run to the left 8, or to the right rather. We're going to start at B, and we're going to travel left 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we're going to travel down 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Our answer, the location of point P, is negative 4, negative 1. So that's where we ended up. We didn't travel all the way, we traveled two-thirds of the way. Okay, then there's some follow-up questions that weren't really in the lesson very much, so let's make sure we understand that. P is two-thirds of the way from B to A. So it's like saying this part from here to here, this is two, and the whole thing is three. It's like the whole segment has three parts, and I traveled two out of the three parts. Two out of three. So what would the leftover section that I didn't travel be? If the whole thing's three and I went two, three minus two, okay. These are not lengths, they're not distances, they're just ratios. So now we can answer these problems. The ratio of AP to PB. We'll just look at the segment. AP is one piece and PB is two pieces, two parts. So the ratio is one to two. What's the ratio of AP to the whole thing? Well, AP is one third, one to three. Just look at the picture. If the whole thing is three pieces, AP is one piece out of three pieces. And then PB to AB, that's how much we travel to the whole. That was what they gave us, two thirds, two to three. 